Hello and well, welcome. I'm Matt Smith and we are literally here talking into a camera on Grafton Street. So, what makes us Irish here on Paddy's Day? We asked some people in the street how, how to be I Irish. Is it the Colini? Is it the, the crack? I guess, Vian Vian on sport a coup. We asked you. You. Best one yet? So let's ask some of some people on the on the street. Okay? Great. Oh, let's ask this gentleman here, sir. What is it what is it to be uh, Irish? To be Irish. Uh, personally I think to be Irish you need to have a bit of pizzazz, do you know what I mean? A bit of hey yo! And a bit of fire inside your heart. My family's been around for generations now. And I'll tell you this for free. I've never seen anyone not in this country. Well, everyone I've met was in this country. I've never been abroad. What's the best thing about being Irish? Uh, well, the chicks, like, do you know what I mean? So many birds, like, oh, yeah, it's so good, man. Sorry, what, what do you want me to do with my hands? Like, well, like is that all right? Just, all right, yeah, so, personally, the best thing about Ireland, I think, it's just knowing that like if you need to buy something you can get your father to pay for it and I mean literally I could go anywhere I want like around the world but he's not there like obviously I have his card or whatever but like it's completely different um, the best thing we have going for ourselves is the sport in the country you know it's um, something that I feel very personally close to, emotionally attached with. Uh, our level of rugby is unparalleled and uh, our level of ga is of course unparalleled around the world. Absolutely and I mean to be Irish is to know stories. Now I read stories my whole life, books, folklore, mythology. Now I, I'm here in Dublin basically just like we're on graphic street now like look around man just everywhere. Birds, birds, birds. All right, how's it going? So good, like, so literally so good. How's it going? <coughs> oh, sorry. Um, we play hurling like they don't play hurling anywhere else. Sorry, 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 sorry. Cut, <laughs> cut that. Only messing. Um, sorry, who do I look at? Am I looking at the camera or? And I mean, I turned around to an actor friend of mine. Listen, you like this? I said, I said, Brian. Why don't you turn around to me, where everyone's turning around to each other today, it's amazing. But he, he said, he turned around and he said, <laughs> literally the whole day it was like this. Hey, where are you going? What, what's happening? What's happening here? But the theatre scene is bigger and bigger. You get that look. You get that lucky charm, you know what I mean? Get that red hair. That's what I've got. Good man. What are you, are you Irish yourself? Truth be told, no. I've forgotten the question. I, I don't really know what you want me to do with my hands here, like, uh, That's fine. I put it... Do you want me to hold this, like, I can do it for you? Anyway, either way, so good, like, how's it going? Like, look, turn the camera around, like, look how much attention I'm getting. Here, cameraman, turn the camera around there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Delish, like. <laughs> we're literally still here on Shaft and Greet. Grab. Where we're asking some people who weren't Irish by birth, but by ch choice, immigrants. I'm here on Grafton Street, and we asked some people what it is to be Irish. Can we, can we get rid of him? Well, I've been here for years, uh, six, uh, six years now, and uh, I love it here. One thing I don't like is the weather. <laughs> That's how you know that you're Irish, if you can stand this cold, bloody weather. I have been all around the world, and here, when I come to Dublin, I love coming to Dublin. Dublin Castle is lovely. Waterford, what is Waterford Castle, Kilkenny, Kilkenny House, the Cliffs of Stone, the Mohar, the Mohar Brooch, is all such lovely place. The Queen visited Trinity, and she visited the whole country, which is beautiful. Uh, I was very proud as an English citizen living in Ireland 
to welcome her with open wings. Well, the personal transport here, uh, the personal transport is completely different to the public transport. The public transport is a charade. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, it's a farce. I tried to get on the bus this morning, they wouldn't let me on because I didn't have my bus pass. I mean, it's ridiculous. They, they said that, oh, you can't get on the... Well, it was in an Irish accent, so he said, oh, you can't get on the bus because uh, I can't really do it. <laughs> I'm getting nervous now, but I love, I, I love it. I've got to say that uh, the people are really nice. Uh, the, the old people, the young people, everybody on Grafton Street here is very nice to me so far. Obviously, uh, <laughs> obviously they want to be nice to me, otherwise... <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> here in Dublin, everybody is so nice to each other. People treat each other like some sort of big family. And it's so lovely to see these people who are not family even, some of them are family of course, but you know who are, who are not family, loving each other, having just the love of, of the country, and they have this lovely spirit inside, you know. I love it. <laughs> well, uh, personally, uh, I am from Finchley originally, so I wouldn't uh, exactly know what it's like to be Irish. <laughs> but I can understand what people who are Irish are thinking. I really shouldn't be here. So if I see somebody walking on the street, um, I can I can tell them you are thinking this because you are Irish. Not that I uh, I'm a tele teleporter or anything or uh, 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 like a uh, some sort of um, um, uh, genius. <laughs> so good, but uh, yeah. Ireland is a lovely place, as you can probably tell yourself. Hey, I'm not getting much of a tan here though, as you can see. <laughs> Birds. So good, man. Uh, let's see the, the low standards of um, uh, broadcast. We know it's you.